I'm absolutely delighted to be joined by Mary Nightingale, broadcaster and presenter of the ITV News, Evening News now for some 18 years. 18 Mary, years. congratulations Thank on Thank you that. very much. And we've been talking about the programme and indeed the five civic principles. And if I may, my first question uh, to you is, if you had to select one of those civic principles, which one would you choose and for what particular reason? Uh, for me, it's got to be clear communication, obviously, because that's what I do. If you are clear, and by clear I also mean obviously unbiased, truthful, um, direct, not fake, in this era of fake news, uh, that couldn't be more important. I think clear communication covers everything making the assumption that what you are communicating is right, proper and worthy of trust. And honest too. Honest and transparent. Be honest. I mean, there is nothing if there is not trust. A very clear, and if I may say, well communicated message. Thank very, you. very clear indeed. We've been talking about the leaders of tomorrow and the programme we've been running with them. And indeed, some of the recommendations that have come through from that great community. And what I'm keen to, to understand if if there is one particular recommendation that attracts your eye, which one that is, and for what particular reason? I think, and, and, and certainly as a professional broadcaster, what we very much do is no longer concentrate only on television. Yes, we do television, but it's backed up. It's, it's, it's strengthened, if you like, by engagement with social media too. And so it is a multi-platform world that we live in, and there is no longer one clear, single line of communication so you have to cover all your bases but you have to have the same honesty and trust across all of running all the way through i think that's a really interesting observation and we've talked about it before but both with teenage children the context mm. of the change in the frame of reference from uh, where we were those years or so ago mm. but even in just the last 10 years i think that's a extreme but that message around the honesty around all the platforms that it needs to be consistent and provide an equal manner mm. and i think this is the real concern now for any broadcaster any communicator in any way is that there is now a doubt out there yes a healthy skepticism yes question things don't accept them um, passively but this assumption that oh they're all lying is incredibly damaging and, and I think again it brings us back to the idea that trust is the solid gold number one prize. God, love that statement, love that statement. My night nice segue, my third question, mm. we recognise that uh, to get that prize there isn't a single silver bullet, there isn't a light switch you can turn from off to on, but if you had to make one recommendation to the community and stakeholders with whom you engage and it's recognize that you have a way very wide range mm. there what would that one recommendation be tell the truth uh, uh, because once lost trust is very very difficult to regain here we are 10 years on from the Lehman yeah. crisis the start of everything you know to an, to an extent and for a while looking like it really was going to disintegrate I mean thank God things didn't get quite as bad as they could have done, but it came very close. Once lost, trust is Im not impossible, but very difficult to regain. Don't lose that trust. Indeed. Do nothing to jeopardize it. Speak the truth, do it clearly, and be held accountable. That is such a strong message. Such a strong message. My fourth, my final question, mm. Mary, is really a, a, a binary question. And that is, we talked a lot about trust, we talked a lot about these principles um, and the programme itself. Can these civic principles, can the Business of Trust programme help in the restoration and rebuilding of trust and trustworthiness? Yes, it can. Each one of them stands independently as a really important pillar. Any one of them will help, all five of them together. I th yes, of course they can make a difference, they have to. It's really important. Mary, Mary Nightingale, thank you very much for engaging in our Business of Trust programme. Uh, it's been a joy to interview you. Thank, thank you, you very, very much, much indeed. John. Thank you.